some uh, Dungeons and Dragons, right? Woo! 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 Uh, so, it's going to be a bit of a weird session this week. Uh, you know, like, Lynn's got a job interview, go her. Um, Raven has a lab assignment. Dan's in fucking France or something. Um, I don't know, let's just... I guess it's just the, the two of y'all. Uh, and me, the Dungeon Master, yeah. Woo! Ow! Hey. So, how's this gonna go down, DM? Um, I guess we're just gonna get started. Yeah. Uh, so, last we saw our heroes, y'all had defeated the great monster that was haunting the walls of our great city of Andram. Uh, it was a banshee. Ah! Uh, <laughs> and y'all pooped, so you went back to the city, took a pretty good nap. And Tiffany, you saw your old friend Roderick. Oh, right. Yeah. I forgot that happened. Oh, I hate that guy. He's such a dick. What did he want? Uh, Roderick wanted to tell you guys about a fancy new opportunity to get some money while you're in the city this weekend. Right, right, isn't that like in the, oh, in the seedy underbelly of the city? Yeah, yeah, like, well, against the bandits, or, what was it? What uh, was it? no, it was bandits. Yeah, okay, cool. Alright, so, um, I had an idea, and y'all don't have to follow this if you don't want, but I had an idea, uh, that you wanted to go on that adventure. Uh, are you fucking kidding? Of course I do. And you could bring, b Basaris. Basaris with you. You know, some one-on-one -on -one time, some bonding, you know. I get it, Lucas. Alright, so Tiffany will invite Basaris. Yes! Yay, bandit adventures! Alright, cool. Uh, anything you want to do before you set out? I'm good if you want. Basaris needs no preparation, slay bandits. <laughs> right. So Tiffany and Basaris are going to set out to the Contagious Chupacabra, which is a infamous bar in town. Um, known to be the dwelling of bandits, and Roderick actually recommended this bar is the one you go to first, so someone will perception to try and get there. I got it. Ali, Vassaris' perception is... Vassaris has excellent vision. <laughs> <laughs> Can I give her a hand? Yeah, roll well, two dice. Pick a better one. <laughs> That's a six. <laughs> oh boy. So fortunately it's a pretty small city, so it doesn't take you guys too long to realize that you're completely lost oh, up to where you are. <laughs> I wanna like look around for things that can help us. Allie! Alright, go perception. Hey. 18! Whoa, really? Yeah, natural 18 and then plus nothing. You have <laughs> no perception bonus? Not at all! <laughs> Alright, well. You peer through the street lights on a wall, and there's a grimy sign, and it says, Contagious Chupacabra, that way. Seriously? But it's not supposed to be hard. I don't know why you got lost in the first place. <laughs> Basaris has great vision. Uh, so, you see this little hole in the wall, you go in, mm -hmm. alright? You go in, you're in a dingy little tavern. It's dark, it's dirty, there's like one guy there, it's a human, he's the bartender. Hail and well met! What do you want? <laughs> uh, drinks? No. <laughs> Don't serve drinks till five. Perhaps we might obtain some meat. Don't serve food after two. What do you serve? Oh no. <laughs> Are you even open? Perhaps we need a different approach. I don't think this guy's too competent. Like, uh, Lucas, can we kind of tell that this is the part of the building that fans don't hang out and make it, like, investigation roll? Or... Uh, no, you don't have to roll. It, okay. It's a front. How old is the bar? <laughs> uh, late 20s? Great. I'm going to go seduce this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you do this? So he'll tell us where the actual band hideout is. No, why do you have to seduce him? <laughs> it's a D and D classic, Ali. You always have to seduce the enemy. Woo! <laughs> All right. So you approach the bartender, and what do you do? Oh. Actually, roll charisma first. <laughs> That's a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all, right, all right. So you got. It. You're like doing your sexy walk, you know. You know. <laughs> but it's not really your style, so while you're doing your weird little trying to be sexy, then you trip, smash your face on the table, and take uh four points of damage. Oh, <laughs> oh, God. Does she break her nose? Ooh. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. There's blood on the table, there's blood on your face, it's a mess. 
you're a mess. <laughs> <laughs> my life. I go over and like help her up and over to a table. Yeah, yeah, and, and the bartender's like judging him. He's like, oh, I can't do all right. Yeah. I'm fine. <laughs> come here, come here. I take him to space. And I look at her and I say, this will hurt. And I try to reset her nose. <laughs> right, roll medicine. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> uh, you sent her nose back in. Ambassador's apologizes, but Ambassador's did warn me. Yeah, you did. And now, now it is Ambassador's turn. Excuse what? Me. You say we must seduce this man to find the bandits. Ambassador's will find the bandits, and Ambassador's will make this man fall in love with her. <laughs> I go to the bar. Uh, the bartender looks at you. Eyebrows raised, a little nervous. Because <laughs> you're a tiefling. You're six feet tall and, and red and horns and barbarian and bone necklace. Fair point. Anyways. Hello, barkeep. What is your name? Uh, Rufus. <laughs> Excellent name. Thank you. And now I seduce him. <laughs> Seduction, yeah. not quite the middle steps. Oh, yeah. So I think you're like you're going for the first button, and it's just all of a sudden it's all off. It's <laughs> <laughs> off. Oh, okay. Oh, is this happening? This is happening now. I'm committed. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny and you're talented and you're gorgeous. Oh, yeah, right. You're way out of my league. 